According to several media outlets in the world, last Saturday, which was New Year's Eve, it is claimed that North Korean soldiers shot dead three defectors while crossing the Amnok Yalu River on the border with China. These claims come from the U.S.-based Radio Free Asia broadcast on Tuesday. In almost all of the articles on the matter, where Radio Free Asia itself is getting its information on the supposed incident, is not stated. However, Al Jazeera is saying the claim comes from South Korean activists. People waiting at the Chinese side across the river to help the three defect saw the scene. The guards took with them the bodies which were lying on the ice. South Korea's intelligence service said it could not immediately confirm the reported shootings. At the time of this publishing, they've not been able to confirm anything at all. The only source of this claim is from so-called activists who are dedicated to opposing North Korea. Not a single source outside of this so-called activist group is making the claim. Nor have the names of any of the supposed victims been released. Interesting to note is that activists never seem to have any cameras, still or video, to verify these claims. According to other sources, Kim Jong-un has ordered that anyone attempting to leave the country be killed on the spot. Which is strange because I was under the impression that that was always the policy and that it's nothing new under him. This claim comes from the Japanese daily Sanki Sinbon and South Korea's Seoul based Jong-un daily. In other words, they come from notoriously anti-North Korean sources, along the lines of believing the U.S. media over the claims of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. World media has finally accepted that while North Korea will continue to function the same, imperialism will go on functioning the same as well.